So, when Nigerian economy is sinking, our politicians are busy attacking themselves and throwing fight and words. <laughs> so, Abdullah Ikanduji, the National APC chairman, has declared a fight, or what would I call it? He threw a word at his former boss, who is the NNPP national, uh, presidential candidate, Kwan Kwasu. He made a statement while welcoming Hale Rujiga, who was once a APC member, and then before the gubernatorial election, he transferred to NNPP because he was going there in search of a ticket. And since he didn't work out, he decided to come back again to the party, APC. So while welcoming him, the national chairman of the APC, Kanduji, decided to throw, a, you know, one word or a fight to Kwan Kwasu, according to him, he said that Kwan Kwasu will remain a Siri, a Siri loser in his West. That was what he said, indirectly saying that Kwan Kwasu will keep losing presidential election because of his own personal pursuit. Like, can you imagine? It's so ironic. Like, the person you are welcoming left your party in search of a ticket into another party. And when he couldn't get it, he's coming back. And then we are making example with Kwan Kwasu. Like, you guys. Guys, I don't understand. What is going our politicians? Like Nigerian politics is 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 like it's on another level, in fact. We are talking about Nigerian economy. We're talking about how to make Nigeria better. Why you people are just they busy throwing away because you people have all the money to yourself. Eh? What can we say? Why you people are fighting, you are throwing ways at each other. Please let the poor Brit, let the poor Brit. The moment Nigeria will keep, we start getting better is when all of you in politics will begin to put the national interest front, put the people's interest front. That's when this will begin to work well. My people are beg, watch the analysis from Arise News. While you watch, please like, share, follow, and subscribe. So politicians can fight all they want, but the lives of Nigerians keep getting destroyed. The economic value of the Anara keeps going down. Human development indices keep going down. It's as if every year as we go by, the last year is always better than this. Because today, now, 2015 has become a standard. We wish life was better like it was in 2015. Even 2021 was better than this year. So things keep getting bad and the politicians keep thinking of themselves. I am not surprised about their fact and each other calling each other serial losers is their stock in trade. But please, I just have to say, these people should have pity on the poor suffering people in Nigeria. And you see, they never argue about the plight of the people. All they argue is about their own political bickering. Right. Well, some of the things that uh, the chairman of the All Progressive Congress, uh, uh, Dr. Ganduje, said about uh, Dr. Kwankwaso, his former boss, his former leader, uh, would uh, border on uh, pure defamation, libel, slander. And some of the things he said, you know, we, we do not need to repeat. Other than the safe one that he said, okay, the man is, uh, you know, guilty of, uh, he's driven solely by his own political ambition. So that will fall under the category of mere vulgar abuse. But some of the other claims that he made may be things that if Kwan Kwan so were to take him up, he will need to prove. Because the sole objective of that uh, you know, conversation, while he was re receiving the senator, Senator Ali Rujika, who had defected uh, from the NMPP to the APC, you know, was to denigrate Kwan Kwan so, to lower him in the estimation of right-thinking members of society. But that's for Dr. Kwan Kwan so, uh, to worry about. I will not repeat what he said. But what we can see here is that politicians are like that. They quarrel today, they make up tomorrow. They abuse each other, they call each other names. In Nigeria, he's taken as well, you know, he's too fighting. It's uh, a case of uh, political differences. The same Ganduji that is abusing Kwan Kwan so today, don't be surprised if the tables were to turn tomorrow, could go and join the NNPP. So that in politics in Nigeria, 
There are no permanent loyalties. It's a, a hall of mirrors in which, you know, loyalties are perpetually uh, shifting. The one thing that I took away from that uh, meeting with the man who defected to the APC, former governorship candidate in uh, Bauchi State, uh, Senator Jika, was that the man in response said, I have no issue with Kwan Kwan so. I'm only moving to the APC the, to protect the interest of the Bauchi people. And I chuckled, how does this moving to uh, APC protect the interest of Bauchi people? He too is guilty of uh, personal ambition, if we can just leave it at that matter. He probably thinks that his nest, you know, will be better feathered if he were to move to the, uh, uh, to the ruling party, the APC. Politicians, after all, in Nigeria, are perpetually behaving like fortune hunters. They go where they think that their interests will best be served. Now, as for the uh, comedy that came out of it, there's this comedy now coming out of Kano, whereby if you leave NMPP and you go to APC, then uh, the chairman of the APC engages in this ritual, we're told, of removing your white and red cap, the Kwan Kwan Siya cap, and putting the uh, Tinubu cap on your head. It's so comedic, you know, I think it will be perfect material uh, for Nollywood someday. You know, uh, so you may think it is a sense of humor, but it's just uh, uh, pure entertainment, you know, coming from that uh, uh, direction. But clearly, uh, the senator, Aliru Jika, who has decided to move from uh, NMPP to APC, is his uh, right. It's perfectly within his right to do so. But what we find disturbing is that politicians in Nigeria never make choices on the basis of ideology. It's always on the basis of what is expedient, what is convenient, uh, what is uh, possible. Well, don't say that uh, somebody had described the politics as the art of the possible. In Nigeria, it, it means something else. It means, you know, just anywhere where you can get a position or you get uh, a recognition. So. I don't think we can make any heavy weather out of this uh, particular uh, interaction, which made some of the uh, front pages. Uh, it's in the nature of politicians to jump from one place to the other. This same Senator Jika, tomorrow he may jump back to NMPP, or he may jump to PDP, you know, depending on where the wind goes. And that is uh, part of the being of uh, politics, you know, uh, in Nigeria. The fact that we do not have politicians who can stay consistently, you know, on the basis of ideology. They cite uh, examples that, oh, even in the UK, even in the US, sometimes, you know, politicians change, but not the way they do it in Nigeria here. Yeah. You know, it's a different ball game uh, that we face here. And uh, the APC uh, chairman, uh, Dr. Ganduje, should be advised to be less triumphal, you know, because his triumphalism, you know, has become almost a uh, uh, regular affair. Uh, within the political scene, and now that he has added the uh, uh, comedy to it, you know, changing of caps and, uh, you know, brandishing uh, uh, President Tinubu's uh, broken chain uh, insignia cap, you know, that's comedy. The, the, the chairman of the APC should pay more attention to serious things. It's quite ironic that the chairman of the APC who received him, Dr. Ganduje, had said that one of the reasons why Dr. Kwakonso had failed to uh, win elections was because he was in pursuit of selfish interests as opposed to being in pursuit of national interest. And then you wonder that the, you cannot miss the irony of that, that we have a, the, the man before him, Dr. Jika, who had um, been, who had cross-carpeted because he didn't get a, a ticket coming back and you're talking about national interest. How many politicians, whether it be in APC, in PDP, in the NNPP, in Labour Party, or any of the parties, run on the basis of personal interest? If that were the case, then you would ask people like Senator Haliu Chika, why did he move to the NNPP? Was it be because he believed in the ideology of the NNPP as a, you know, against that of the APC? Was it be because he believed in the principles of the party? What are the principles or ideologies of, a polit of our political parties? At the end of the day, it boils down to where can I get a ticket if my 
substantive party that did not, I didn't win at that um, primary level. And so you wonder if the people are, if the, uh, if the politicians are really for the people and what inspires a man to run, a man or a woman to run in our elections? Is it really for national interest or for selfish or personal gains? And so when, you know, um, politicians like the chairman of the APC make statement like that to attack in this sense, pers you know, verbally attack another politician, it's the same thing. It's just a matter of opportunity and chance. At the end of the day, not many politicians run in the, in the interest of the public or national interest. It's often more about personal interest and personal ambition.